Dean, thanks for joining me. It's a quick turnaround for uh, for tomorrow night's game under the lights against Kings Lynn. How's preparation going for it? Yeah, um, training was solid today. Um, some recovery. Some lads needed a little bit extra, and quite there's still quite a few in the in the treatment room, which is is not ideal. So, um, but you know we want to build on Saturday's performance. That's so important, and Saturday's result. And um, tomorrow's game is not going to be easy. To be fair to Kings Lynn, since Tommy's gone in there. They've been uh, very solid um, in the games they've lost. Uh, they've only lost by one goal. And they went to Grimsby, which I've watched that game as well. They did really well there and got results. So it's not going to be an easy game for us. Uh, plenty of positives to build on, as you've mentioned there from, from talking. What, what were you uh, looking to, to take from, from that match and into, uh, into two starts uh, performance? Well, our energy levels were good. Uh, high energy levels. Um, I thought our midfield was excellent. The three young lads in there did a great job. And we were a trek going forward uh, all afternoon, even in the first half against the win. So um, that's what we're looking for. Uh, they're the standards we set ourselves um, earlier on in my reign. So in the first 12, 13, 14 games, that's what we got to get back to. And I thought we were back to that on Saturday. So um, we just got to build on that, build on the result, build on the positive performance. And uh, we've got to be more consistent in how we do that. So consistency is a big word. You want a consistent back four, you know, or back four of what we decide to play. And you want a consistent defensive midfield player or two of you decide to play that as well. So that's a department I don't really like to change. Um, and at the minute, you know, we're sort of filling them gaps at the minute. Like I said the other day to Harry Taylor, what performance by him, you know. He was a proper leader within the, within the game. He showed, his, he showed his leadership qualities. Playing out of position again, good debut from Ross Marshall. So... You know, Teddy, I taught Teddy how he was, it's been a difficult time for Teddy. He's come into a football club and he's experienced in a football club. It's been a lot of negative stuff. So uh, I thought his performance was outstanding. And I know what Teddy can do. He, he's a really good player, Ted. Um, and Ben Everton Richards went and played uh, left back for us as well. So did a good job for us. So, you know, we want to get a consistent selection within our back line. And that's one department we definitely don't want to be changing. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it's been forced on us. So people are going to have to do jobs for the team. And that's our character and togetherness that's, that's showed on Saturday. And uh, long may that continue. I mean, g- given the fact that we've, we have our players out, we have also brought in three new signings. Are we still looking to, to bolster our squad in any way, shape or form? Always looking to improve. Uh, recruitment's the key to the business and it never stops. You can never rest on your laurels when you're looking to, uh, to, to keep strengthening and improving. So we are looking to improve constantly and our players have to understand, understand that as well you know when they set the, the heights they set through the day there was a high standard of football they performed to today they've got to be consistent to, uh, and be consistent towards that performance level so and if they don't what happens in this business is you know somebody else comes and takes you short and that's how it works I'm afraid uh, it's a rootless business and it moves very fast so um, we want the boys to continue to perform the way they did Saturday and uh, like I say we have the ability there's no doubt about that the key for us now is to make sure we sustain that high level of intensity. And with the new signings, it must give you a, a, a nice a nice headache for when, it, when it comes to a team selection as well. Yeah, we want competition for places. Um, you know, some good players on the bench today, some good players not involved. Um, so, yeah, they, they train today, the boys that haven't been, uh, didn't play Saturday, they train today like they want to get in the team. That's what we want. They, uh, they've asked me a question today, am I going to put them in the team tomorrow? That's a decision I'll make tomorrow. So, it's healthy competition is what we need. And, and just looking ahead to, to the match, what sort of uh, what sort of game are you expecting? It was quite a, quite a tight, uh, tight, windy affair last time at, at Kingsland under the lights, and I'm sure you, it might, might be a, a, a similar one tomorrow evening. Yeah, Tommy's made a lot of changes. He's a very experienced manager, um, and they've got some good players in, in Barrett. Um, they've got good pace down the middle with Linton, so it's not going to be an easy game. You know, they're destroyed, and, and you know, to be fair to them. The performance levels have been good, and they've been very competitive under the new under the new manager. So, it's uh, we're gonna have to be at it. We're gonna have to be at our best. And I think it's gonna be a very tight game. I, I can't see it being anything other than a tight game. So we're gonna have to be at our best as well. Um, what's important is we put our, we put our, we put the right foot forward, and you know we get after the opposition. We're at home. We've got to take the game to them, and uh, you know we've got to run all over them. That's really what we're looking to do. And I think from their point of view, you know. They've been playing sort of five at the back, sometimes three at the back. So what they decide to do is up to them. We can only affect what we can do. So um, if our players step up to, to the levels they set on Saturday, you know, we, we'll have a good chance of winning the game of football. But if we don't and we drop that consistency level, you know, it'll be us that'll be on the end of a defeat. 
You, you mentioned it. Do, do you think it might provide a, a slightly different challenge to, to the one we had on, on Saturday, given the fact we'll be at home and, uh, and, and where Kings are now on the league table? A home, a home performances are going to improve. We had it in a really good place, sort of October, November time. Um, we had a brilliant place. Early December, we are in a good place as well. So it's drifted away a little bit after the two COVID situations that over the Christmas period and the suspensions we had. So we've got to get back to them levels again where we perform really strong at home. We show good character against their uh, altering them to come back in the last minute. Um, but we've got to perform to a better level than what we've done so far at home over the last six or seven weeks. So, you know, it's a good test for us mentally as well. And uh, we need to be able to give our support or something to cheer about. We've got to make our place a fortress again. And just how are we looking on the, on the injury front? Um, at the minute, you know, it's a similar squad to the weekend. There is one or two that could be back. We'll find that out tomorrow. So every day that passes, boy, gives us a better chance of having somebody here. To be fair to Daniel, our physio, he's, he's doing a great job. And GA did a great job behind the scenes to try and get the boys fit for us. But, um, the, the key for us is we can't play pairs if they're injured again. We did that against Notts County and uh, we got absolutely murdered for it. Murdered for it. So um, we can't do that again, you know what I mean? To, to be fair to the lads, they played in that game. They showed you know, how much they cared and you just can't play if you're not fit. So I've made that decision. If anyone's not fit, they just won't play. Someone will have to play in a different position. Uh, and we've already touched on after the interview at, at, at Torquay, but we're offering uh, Football for a Five, which is a great initiative and, and it's a, a great opportunity for, for, uh, for the Barnet fans to, to come and get behind the lads. Yeah, it's a brilliant gesture by our, by our football club. And yeah, we want them to get right behind us. But like I say, what's important for us is we need to give them something to sing about, so give them actions and... You know, we want to flash balls across the box. We want to get bodies in the box. And there's no doubt Kings going to be trying to stop us doing that. But that's how we've got to perform to. We know we've got the capability of doing it. Um, the big thing for us now is to really give our support. Get them right behind us. We're a high intense performance. So let's see how it goes. And like I say, it's a great gesture with the football club. So hopefully we can, uh, we can fill the stadium.